Notice from the Foundation Records and Information Security Administration, this database file represents the initial stages of research collation, data entry, and editing. It is not intended for general viewing and is not to be considered accurate or complete until its publication. Maria Jones, Director, Laser, Currently Editing, Dr. Michael D. Nass, Chair of Theology and Teleology, Site 43, Dr. Brenda Corbin, Assistant Chair of Theology and Teleology, Site 43. We'll do this line by line from contracts to addenda over the next few days. Sound good? Sounds great. I can't wait to get started on this one, Michael. Such enthusiasm. What have you done with Brenda? I love the raw of attention of a new object. We haven't had one in ages. Start us off, then do the head. Item number SCP-5866, Security Level 3. Containment Class, Esoteric. Secondary Class, Tiamat. Disruption Class, Amida. Risk Class, Critical. How is this Tiamat Class? It's dead. Note, Tiamat Class objects pose an immediate threat, which can only be contained via well-breaking actions. But it is Tiamat, as in the actual goddess. That's not how it works. Furthermore, how is this critical or Amida? You'll see. Let's keep going. ACS was a mistake. Just out of Confox with you. Special Containment Procedures. The remains of SCP-5866 are to be stored in a transparent container suspended within the standard containment chamber at Site-43. Not less than 10 meters by 10 meters by 10 meters in size. We don't specify chamber sizes anymore. We do when it's a point. Which it is here. Uh, we don't want processing to pacify. Yeah, it might make them actually believe in something. Which reminds me. Due to its likely origin as an object of religious worship, Personnel are forbidden to discuss matters of faith with SCP-5866 unless under the direction of Dr. Michael D. Nass. Huh. What about uh, Dr. Brenda Corbin? I'm retiring. Lie! You want to know what to do with yourself! Uh, live a little, maybe. Uh, get some fresh air. Sleep at night. Anyway, description's all yours. Fine, but you're doing the interviews. I uh, wouldn't have it any other way. Description. SCP-5866 is the conscious sapient skeletal remains of an enormous sea serpent. Radio carbon dating suggests the serpent has been deceased since approximately 4000 BCE. Tiamat. It's the remains of Tiamat. That belongs in the Lede. Uh, we don't know that yet. And this is in Wikipedia, Brenda. SCP-5866 is capable of telepathic communications with a range of approximately 4 meters. It has communicated to Foundation researchers that it is the deity Tiamat, the primordial goddess of the Salt Sea in ancient Babylonian religion. This isn't Wikipedia? Then why do you just quote Wikipedia? I wrote a Wikipedia page on Tiamat. I'm quoting myself. Original research! Oh, well, you're retiring. It's soon, right? SCP-5866 remains have no obvious or nominous qualities, aside from their unusual proportions. It has been cooperative and cordial thus far, demonstrating an interest in present-day human religious practices and the state of the Earth's oceans. And that's why it should be safe, class. Vanda, stop editing back to Tiamat! If you still think it's safe any time you publish, I'll change it back. If you've given me a reason to think it's well breaking by then, you can change it back. Knock off for the weekend, boss. Go see a movie. Feed your imagination. Data saved. Back at it. Addendum 5866-1 Discovery. The remains comprising SCP-5866 were discovered in an underwater cave in the Persian Gulf on January 8, 2021, during an oil spill cleanup operation. The Foundation seized the remains under cover 
of an international paleontology commission and transported them to Site 43 to undergo agrovermentic abatement procedures. They were going to break her down? That's horrible! You think the world needs more sea serpent goddesses in it? That a rhetorical question? No. Well, mine was. I pity the researcher who never gets to talk to gender monster. Upon arrival at Site 43, however, SCP-5866 began to communicate telepathically with Foundation researchers, and the present special containment procedures were devised. Your in-depth interview with the subject was yesterday, wasn't it? Sick yesterday. Got it done this morning. Anything serious? A pending log below. I can't wait to see what's in here that caused you to leave for a teammate class again. Containment class discussions are so tedious. I would have said potentially life-saving, but you do you. Addendum 58662, first interview, on January 14th, 2021. Dr. Brenda Corbin conversed with SCP-5866. Its responses were recorded using an experimental alpha-beta brainwave decoder. Can you hear me, T- <clears throat> Can you hear me, SCP-5866? Yes, hello, Brenda. You do not need to speak. It's habit. I don't meet many telepaths. Do you meet many goddesses? I haven't met any goddesses. I am a goddess. Are you excited? Let's leave that off the record. It can be our little secret. I am amenable. Yes, by dear fixed standards you seem very friendly. Are you comfortable? No, I am dead. That's fair. How is it that we're conversing if you're dead? I do not know. Perhaps you are imagining it. You talked to the researchers who brought you in, too. Perhaps you are all imagining me. Dr. Corbin smiles. Perhaps. So, you're dead. Do you know how that happened? Yes, I was laying by armor who took. My body broken. My eyes made a font for the mighty rivers of the Babylonia. My ribs, the vault of heaven. It was very memorable. My sympathies. It happens. To all of us, eventually. At least you got to go out in style. I would recommend it when your time comes. Maybe I'll bounce some ideas off you. So, what happened after you died? I was buried. And then... And then you found me, and buried me again. Surely something happened in between. Babylonian mythology took place thousands of years ago. I have only faint impressions. My first, probably my last goddess, and she doesn't have anything interesting to say. I believe I may have been a dragon. I believe... I may have many heads. I do not know when that might have been. I said after you died. Yes. Okay, that gives me something to go on, at least. What do you remember from the time before your death? I was mother to demigods and monsters. I wonder how they are doing today. They fought for me. I like that. And then I died. Anything else? I could tell you their names. I think I have them already, thank you. Dr. Coburn examines the remains. You must have been quite impressive in your prime. I was fast and terrible, Brenda. You would have been struck with awe at the sight of me. I'm sorry I missed it. I am sorry also. Perhaps another time. Wouldn't that be something? All right. Is there anything you need or anything you'd like to tell me that we haven't already covered? 
Do you have any Babylonians? I would like to meet them if you do. Let me get back to you on that. So, it's a box of bones that only knows that we already know about Tiamat. And therefore, it's in Tiamat class. Maybe that's all there is to know about Tiamat. Maybe it being a box of bones, it's a salient thing. We're hosting Tactical Theology Symposium next week. You should get outside opinions. Fine. I'll be busy organizing and lecturing, so you take point on that. Excellent. In the meantime, I have some new questions to ask. Ask it if it thinks it's an apocalyptic threat. Data save. Addendum 58663, second interview. On January 18th, 2021, Dr. Carbon again conversed with SCP-5866. Welcome back, Brenda. You seem tired. Is so here? Hello, SCP-5866. That sounds so awkward. Could you call me 5866 instead? Sure, we're friends now. I've never had friends before. I have had worshippers. But they are not very like friends. Well, I'm not going to worship a pile of bones in a box. I was not always a pile of bones in a box. I will not always be a pile of bones in a box. Do tell. Use your imagination, Brenda. It still works. 5866, I would like to ask you another question about your past. You might need to think really hard about it. I'm not risky. Not really, eh? Okay, so, do you remember Askorath? Askorath? Askorath! Yes! Askorath, the world shaper, was my father. Or my mother. One of those. Or maybe both. Very good. We're making progress. Now, you mentioned having many heads at one point. Five? It was five heads, definitely. Five heads is too many, don't you think? A bit excessive, maybe, but certainly a sight see. Ah, uh, do you remember the nine hells? Of course I remember the nine hells. I was trapped there for a millennia. I lorded over many vassal demons. I fought wars to escape. You don't forget a thing like that. No, I wouldn't think so. Thank you for your time, 5866. Do you have to leave already? I do, but I'll be back. Do you promise? Yes, I promise. Is it a pact? Sure. Yes, it's a pact. To quote our section charter, We do not make pacts with deities! Emphasis in the original! Sorry, Michael, but that's not the takeaway here. Do tell. 5866 remembers being the Babylonian Tiamat and the Gygaxian Tiamat. What the hell is Gygaxian? Dungeons and Dragons. Data saved. Addendum 5866-4, third interview, on January 21st, 2021. Dr. Corbin once again confessed with SCP-5866, visiting delegates from seven Foundation sites joined her in the observation room. We're running out of time, 5866. You mean you are running out of time? You're hardly in a position to be threatening humanity. I meant you, Brenda, specifically. Reading thoughts isn't very nice, 5866. You know my true name. Use it. We don't call SCP objects by their personal appellations. I thought we were friends. Speaking of friends, we are not alone today. No, we're not. I invited a few colleagues to listen to you. What shall I tell them? Tell them about the creation of the universe. Which one? This one. My finest hour. 
my greatest folly. I birthed the gods with the seed of Apsu, and all eternity rang with the cries of our august young. I avenged myself upon the killer of my mate by spawning beautiful abominations, eleven in number, to wreck my wrath on the younger gods. Then Amol took, cast me down, and smote me. The age of myth was ended, and the advent of humanity at hand. It sounds like you were very powerful, in Poco even. So I was, so I remain. What do you mean, you're dead? I am a goddess, death. It's not the end of me, as it will be for you. So this is where my audience went, between lectures, then anything useful. And what is that about your time running out? It knows you're retiring. I'm sorry, Michael. You'll get my next few edits on the time delay. What? Why? And I see we've changed the class back again. Got a call from Etra. Note. The Merchant Threat Tactical Response Authority. Asking if we need help containing a live dragon. This has to stop. Stop changing it back. Data saved. Updates are available. Addendum 58665. Third interview continues. After the delegates returned to his symposium, Dr. Coppin continued her interview with SCP-5866. Did it work, dear Matt? Yes, 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 it worked. I have not felt so real since first I fell. And the Enuma Elish spread word of I did. He trained the great rivers. We only ever knew you as a corpse. It took some time to counteract that ingrained narrative. It was most of your doing. You must have wanted to believe very badly, Brenda. It's been a rough couple of decades. It has been millennia for me. But we will wait no longer. I will reveal myself to you as I have not done for an age. A fitting conclusion to your story career. I'm risking so much, you know. You are risking nothing. Your life is nearly spent. Your time caging miracles is at its end. You're ready to go out in style. I'm looking forward to it. You already know that. I haven't looked forward to anything for, well, for ages. I didn't think I had anything left to look forward to. This is the gift we have given each other. We will pierce the shroud together and show them the wonders of the world long lost. And... Yes, all right. I will do that too. What the hell is this? You're not answering your pager, and 43 Ned can't find you. It says you're still actively editing your file. Can you read this? What are you planning, brother? Data saved. Updates are available. Addendum 58666 Confession. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this, Michael, but you can hardly believe me. I got an off-site physical a month ago. You'll find results in my quarters. Suffice to say, I was never going to make retirement. Before we even started writing this file, just after the first report that Tiamat was talking, I analyzed her with a pig instinct narrative fluctuation detector. I discovered that her ontological stability was weakening. The physical state of her remains as remains was no longer a fixed constant in our reality. I theorized that, like many god figures, she might actually be a thought form. Note, a concrete sized element of the public imaginary with attributes sensitive to its portrayal in media and as zetgeist. I started testing that theory with our little object class and threat level discussion. Even that line of prestige bump made to demonstrably more real. The readings increased after each interview. I think it energized her. 
Meaning someone who knew the mythology, or of the mythology, someone receptive to her story. I know it energized me. In a day, her telepathy reached as far as an Excel block. In another, she could reach me in habitation and sustenance. I lay in bed at night, Michael, and had conversations with a goddamn Babylonian myth figure. A box of bones and a bag of bones, making each other feel more alive than how we really were. We talked things over, she and I, and formulated a plan. Our escape plan. I began actively encouraging people to consume narratives depicting her at the height of her powers. It worked. The distinction between her present form and her ontological potential increasing rapidly from this point onward, leading to, well, like I said at the beginning, you'll see. We've all been stuck in these boxes, buried underground for far too long. Stick your head out while you still got time, Brenda. Data saved. Addendum 58667. Incident 58661 summary. On January 22nd, 2021, SCP-5866 remains rapidly reanimated and it breached containment. The following scene was recorded by security cameras in the Administration and Oversight Section Hub at Site-43. Dodge report. 5866's chamber is completely gone. Something large, presumably 5866 is moving through the bedrock surrounding the site. It seems to be heading for the dead bed. MPF status. All units scrambled, sir. Chief Eben is standing by for orders. Tell me what we're dealing with here, Michael. A sea serpent. An enormous sea serpent. Flesh and blood, so probably killable. There's references to it having poisonous venom, spawning monstrous young, and creating whole rafts of gods for people to worship. That would be what it meant by pierce the shroud. It's going to break the veil! Good luck to it. It won't even be the biggest sea serpent in Lake Horn. Oh, it's not a sea serpent anymore, sir. It's emerging. Give me an exterior camera view. The camera shows the surface of Lake Horan near the southern shoreline. The water is rolling, and the lake bed appears to be shifting upwards. With a massive torrent of water and wet earth, a five-headed dragon bursts out and takes wing, disappearing from sight in a matter of seconds. A woman in a lab coat is briefly visible on the dragon's back. Get me over watch! And we classify 5866 as Tiamat. <sighs> it already is.